idea for this wild pattern, and it's probably not going to work, so that's why we're going to do it. Ready? This is 18 gauge square, which I love. I've been coming to love this square wire. Um, it's so amazing, but you don't need square. You can use 18 or 16. Just make sure it fits your beads, and you want to use a heavier gauge. I wouldn't go thinner than 20. So I found... So just make sure you get two beads that fit your wire, um, because square wire 18 gauge is a little bit less forgiving with the whole. This is an eight millimeter, 10 millimeter. And that's basically what I found fits. The sixes and the fours, six and four millimeter doesn't really fit this wire usually. But anyway, I'm going to take about two feet, now nah, a foot and a half. And you don't even need this much because this pattern is so fun and cool. Wait till this is just the most ridiculous thing ever. So we're gonna put, actually no, first we're gonna fold it in half. Put the ends together. Pull it down like that in half there we go now we're gonna put one stone on each and we're gonna bring each of these halfway down sometimes if if the stone fits and then suddenly gets stuck it's because you got to straighten the wire a little bit so roughly halfway down I'm not trying to be too perfect and now we're gonna make a W out of this we're gonna bend it back this way and back that way, or an M, or a weird creature with a really big nose and two very cool eyes who wants to be your friend. Would you like to give him a hug? He's kind of lonely. So now what we're going to do is this is going to be our bottom part, our larger stone, whatever stone you pick is your larger stone. And you can roll this as many times as you want, but leave yourself quite a bit on the end just in case for what comes next. This is going to be our bale at the top. Looks like we're doing a science experiment with molecule models and stuff. And then we're going to twist that once to hold its spot. So we're going to take put this guy back in his little crevice there. I'm going to start rolling him too. And he can get some more roll because he's a smaller stone. He's going to go up a little higher. And then we bring them together like this. And now we're kind of slowly kind of forming it into the type of pendant we want as far as where do we want to place each stone. And... How long do we want the whole thing to be? So now, this is our pendant right here. The rest of this is just twisting it up and wrapping and having fun and being, making a really weird sculptural thing. When you're finally done, you tuck in the sharp edges, the sharp ends somewhere. I suggest wrapping them around the top loop and tucking them right there. That's the easiest. But that's it. It's pretty much it. It's done. It's fun. So I, now I wish I took a lot more wire to play with. But let's see what we can get get away with with what we have here. So. Um, let's see, we'll wrap that around there. Let's do like a, a ladder scaffold thing, kind of. That'll kind of hold that in its spot. And this one, ooh, we can do some pretty curves. I wasn't planning on that, but hey, we're here. And that one, ooh, I wish I took a ton more wire. All right, take a ton more wire than I did. Take like double the amount, because this is super fun, and I could have done so much more if I had more wire. Of course, you can always add a piece. But I love doing it in one piece. It's so fun when you can just do the whole thing in one piece of wire. So I'm just going to close this guy off into a swirl because he's done and he can't make it all the way back up there. So we got to tuck him in, and that's easy. All right, so now we got this. Fun. It's actually really strong. This could end right here as the pendant. This I'm going to make into my scarf, like I said. Scarfing, pretending that's the face at the top. Don't ignore the orange paint. I was working on something else earlier. So we're going to cut the tab right here about halfway across and carefully don't shoot it at someone unless it's someone that you need revenge on then still give them a fair warning because I don't want them to sue me it was your idea if it happens to hit them okay so that's fun like that right super fun and it's strong and that's done but I feel like you can do so much more fun stuff so pretend I took an extra long wire like I should have instead of 16 inches pretend I took three whole feet which is a meter for people in meter world that strange place outside of Normalville where people have these measurements based on 10. It's, why would you want measurements based on 10? That takes all the fun out of the math. You want to you make it wild and weird. You want to spend all your day doing calculations. You don't want to make the math easy. It's so like amateur. Anyway, so I'm cutting another piece of about 16 inches and we're going to see look, what can we do with this. You can just basically fit it anywhere because a square wire just grabs onto stuff and then we're just going to start wrapping again and see what we come up with. I kind of like the idea of leaving open spaces that you can see through, so we're not going to try to totally fill it in necessarily, but we'll see what happens. That curve is kind of following that curve, and that looks cooler already, right? Starting to give it a little more um, a little more bulk, a little more substance. Uh, this one, 
you, sometimes you can just follow the way the wire wants to go and you'll find that it, you get really beautiful curves that way and you don't have to force it to do something else because the wire will show you that it wants to do really awesome stuff automatically and you'll be like, thank you wire for showing me your way. Um, now, you are using mechanics too. I don't want to just make a circle there and just leave it because that you don't want pieces that are can be y yanked out or snagged. So I'm going to have to come around the back for that one. Although, it would be cool if I went through here and had him go diagonal with that. That's kind of cool. But I don't want that look. I don't want to cover up the stone. I want the stone to totally show. So pull it back out. Let's come around. Let's see. What can we do that's interesting right here? We can do some loops, but I'm not feeling loopy. I'm not, loops make it look flowery, and this just doesn't look like a flowery piece. It looks very kind of Aztec, kind of ancient, like found in a pyramid or something. So eh, I'm going to come across that stone a little bit, cover him up just a tiny bit. This is the main accent one. That's the secondary. And yeah, we're just doing the scaffolding. It's just wrapping it around. It makes it pretty easy, actually, if you think about it. I don't like that this is bouncing, so I'm going to fold. I'm going to make a little, um, what's it called? A little kink, a little um, turn right there. And I don't like how that looks now at all. So I'm going to fold this over the back and bend it out of the way so you don't see it from the front. How am I going to do that? I'll just bend it like that. There we go. Square wire is so easy to work with just does what you want it to do. Um, fun, but this is really strong and I don't want to make it too busy. I want to just, should I finish while I'm ahead? Should I do it? Let's try doing a swirl and see what happens. We can always cut it off if we don't like it. But even making a swirl with square wire is so much easier. It just rolls the way you want it to. It just looks cool. All right, so if I stuck that swirl right there, would that make it look weirder? Yeah, it kind of, kind of looks, I kind of like it. Now it's it's loose, all snaggable, so we got to tuck it somewhere where it's more secure. How can we do that? Can we just bring it around the front? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that doesn't take away from it at all. There we go. Shove it right in there. Make sure it's not coming out. Good. Should we do that with this one too? Let's see. We'll build this. That's kind of a cool way to end it. We can just tuck it in now. Let's try a swirl first and see what, where we could put that one. Okay, there's our swirl. Should we put it over the front? Is that gonna mess it up? Nah, that looks cool, right? But it also looks cool with those patterns where you can see through that. I kinda like that better. But it's up to you, what do you like better? I mean, it can go either way, really, I feel like. Um, I like that, if we just cut that off. And let's see if we put it in the back. Nope, not doing anything in the back. Yeah, I, I like that spider web pattern. You can see through it a little bit. So I'm just gonna end it. So now you know you have options and you make yours. If you were disappointed that it didn't go away, you, you would have took, taken it, then it's your job to make your own and make your own look as amazing as possible. But remember, don't judge yourself and don't worry about it coming out perfect. Just have fun. This is nowhere near what I imagined it would turn out as. And I had so much fun that it doesn't matter. Plus I got to hang out with you guys and you guys are the coolest. Don't let those other kids tell you you're not the coolest. You are. So there we go. Bam. We could turn this a quarter turn, put a cord through it, or just put some jump rings and put a cord through it. And then we'll find if anybody likes it, maybe. Mm -hmm.